All right, what's up, guys? Uh, so this is how you make a gar for petri dish use. Personally, I use petri dishes for mushroom cultivation. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what you guys are gonna use it for, but let's hop into the video. All right, you're gonna be needing a scale, a gar powder, malt extract, a jar, 500 milliliters of water, and a pressure cooker or stove top. All right, the first step, uh, you wanna add the 500 milliliters of water uh, into your jar. Screw on your jar's lid and put jar into boiling water for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, for the next step, you wanna measure out 10 grams of agar agar powder. And then after you've measured that, you wanna measure out 10 grams of malt extract. All right, for this step, um, this is optional, but at I'm making black agar agar. Um, it can support growth, and uh, you can see the bacteria or mycelium very well. So measure out five grams. And after the jar has been boiling for 10 to 15 minutes, you can take it out. You wanna just unscrew the lid and take off the, um, the second part of the lid. After you have unscrewed your lid, you can take the 10 grams of agar agar powder and you can just add it to the hot water. After the agar agar powder has been poured, you can pour in the malt extract. Uh, you might need to shake up the agar agar first if uh, your jar doesn't hold everything and it starts like overfilling. And then after, just screw on the lid and give it a really good shake until everything is dissolved. All right, if you wanna make it into black agar, uh, just screw off the lid. Then you wanna dump the five grams of the activated charcoal inside of the agar you just made. After, just close the lid, screw it on very well, and give it a really nice shake again. All right, to sterilize the agar, you wanna put your pressure cooker, set it to an hour and 30 minutes to two hours at high pressure. And then after you're done with that, uh, you wanna place that metal thing I have in there. I don't know what's called. And then fill it up until it reaches the brim of that metal thing. This is so that steam can sterilize the jars and it won't. You want to steam sterilize it. You don't want to have it like touching the bottom of your pressure cooker. If you want to learn how to pour the petri dishes, I'll be discussing that in my next video. Have a great day.